In this video, we're going to learn how to cycle through states in a dynamic panel, further building out our animated product slideshow. We'll also be creating a hover interaction style for the controls whilst we do so. We're now going to create two sets of controls, previous and next buttons, so the user can cycle through slides in a linear fashion. We'll then create tabbed controls with the labels to permit the user to jump around the slideshow in a non-linear way. We've left some space to the left and right for our buttons. Let's drag out a rectangle shape, which will then change to a more appropriate shape for our previous button. We'll use a triangle pointing to the left for our previous button. Resize it and we will name this previous control. We'll follow the same procedure for a next button and call it next control. Uh, I'd like to add a custom style at this point. Whenever I'm creating widgets where I know that there will be a number of similar widgets, I like to add a custom style so I can update the visual formatting later and it will be simple. Examples of this are background panels, controls, buttons, etc. Open the widget style editor. Select custom styles and let's create our new style. We'll name it controls. I want a background fill of CCC CCC with no border. Let's add a hover style too. I'm going to choose a lighter gray to get a subtle effect. OK. We'll now apply some styles to our previous button. Just use a right click shortcut to access interaction styles. When we finished adding our interaction style, you'll notice the small black and white box that has appeared. This indicates that there are interaction styles applied to the widget. By hovering over the box, you can preview the style. Next, we'll add the interactions. Select our previous button. We will now add an on-click case. You notice that under Add Actions, we have a subset of dynamic panel-specific actions. We're going to set this panel state here. Currently, we only have one dynamic panel, so that's easy to find we're going to check the checkbox. The state selection dropdown is populated with the states that exist for the current panel. We have the option to specify a state, but here we want to go to the previous state. More options specific to this action now appear. We would like the panel to keep cycling through, so we will choose to wrap from first to last. You can also repeat this action at a timed interval if you so desire, but we all know about the poor user experience this creates. You may want to do some animation, and here we'd like the last slide in the cycle, product 3, to slide in from the left, sliding to right, with the product 1 slide moving out in the same direction. OK. Let's do the same for the next button. Create an on-click action. This time, we'll select the next state. Let's wrap up the animation. This time, we want to go to slide 2, sliding the product to slide in from right to left. 
with the same movement for slide 1. OK, let's preview our animation by pressing F5. If you've done it correctly, pressing the next button should slide product, product 2 in from the right, and the previous button should take you back to product 1. Pressing previous a second time should loop the animation back to product 3. OK, great.